Hello Tauruses, this is your November, how do they feel about you, what are they thinking about you reading, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, if this sounds like your storyline and you want to book a reading with me, my information is down below, and please do not forget to like and subscribe, so this will be taking a peek into how your love interest is feeling about you. If you are in a happy, committed relationship, this reading is not for you. This is for people who need guidance and clarity in their love life. If this person does not know you exist, you are not on their radar, this reading is not for you. This is for someone that you have had a, a, a connection with in your love life, okay? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How do they feel about them? Okay, so we have Queen of Coins. Four of Cups in Reverse, Four of Coins in Reverse, Ten of Cups, The Sun, Ten of Swords in Reverse. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have Page of Swords in Reverse. So I feel like, I feel a lot of things, but let me start with the first one. Someone might be keeping an eye out on you, okay? Someone might be checking your social media profile, um, talking to mutual friends, just kind of curious about your what you're up to. I feel like there's a lot um, that someone wants to know about you, okay? I also feel that if you are in communication with someone, um, the person that you're connecting with, I feel that communication is very poor if there is any communication there. Um, someone may have been very manipulative to you or very deceptive in the past. Um, someone, someone also could have talked like a big game and never followed through as well. There's a lot going on here. And I feel though, I feel that mostly though, you know, if this is not you, or if this is not them, this is you. Some of you can be keeping an eye on, on someone or being very curious about someone, you know, this person is on your mind and taking up a lot of mental energy. So someone is doing that for the other person. Okay. So where you're coming from, we have the queen of coins. I feel like you guys are um, trying to be very nurturing, you know, now or in the recent past, you're trying to be very nurturing. I feel like you guys are focusing on practical things. You're focusing on work. You're focusing on, um, you know, your children, if you have children, you're focusing on your home. Some of you may have just purchased a home. Some of you are working on your home. Maybe you're painting your home. You're doing work on your home, but you're really focusing on the practical things. You're trying to focus on financial security. So I feel like financial security has been one of your main focuses recently, and this is where you're coming from. So tell me about the Queen of Coins. Why is this here? two queens. This is a queen who's very independent, very courageous, um, very confident, very determined. This is, this is a fun queen. This is like the life of the party queen. So I feel that, you know, not a lot of you could have been connecting with a, a fire sign, but also if that's not it, I feel like a lot of you are just, you know, maybe working on financial independence, you know, trying to build your confidence back up, trying to be determined, or maybe some of you have been trying to nurture um, or care for a connection with an earth sign or a fire sign. Spirit, tell me why did the Queen of Wands come out? Why is this here? Maybe you're trying to work on stability to go towards this person. This is very protected energy, though, with the black cat there. Ooh. The fool, the fool in reverse. I feel like you guys are just being very cautious. I feel that because the fool popped out in reverse, I feel that, you know, in the past you might have felt naive or felt that you were being taken advantage of by someone. Um, I feel that there was a new beginning here that did not happen as well. I feel like there was something that was blocked, something that was stalled. There was a potential for a new beginning, but it didn't happen as well. Okay, how you're being seen, we have four of cups in reverse. This is one of my favorite cards in the tarot deck when it's in reverse. Um, this is like you having a sudden awareness that you need to choose happiness, that you need to accept the cards that you were given, that you were dealt, and you need to do the best that you can do with what you got. 
So someone might be realizing this about you. Someone might know that you're trying to focus on your yourself, trying to get balanced. You know, you're no longer um, bored or discontent or miserable. Okay. And this is, you know, someone's viewing you as improving. So this is great energy here. Spirit, tell me by why the Four of Cups is here, please. Five of Swords. Ooh. Someone here was sneaky, whether it was the other person or you. Someone here is very sneaky. Um... But I feel that someone's viewing the other person as trying to improve. This is someone who was hiding things, who was winning at all costs, not being truthful, um, not being honest. Okay. But I feel that right now things are changing and things are starting to improve. So tell me why the five of swords is here, please. Ace of Cups. I feel that someone seeing you, I feel that someone around you might have new feelings for you. There could be new love here. You guys could be choosing happiness, choosing to put yourself out there now. And with the five of coins here, just be careful because someone might have feelings for you that's not being very truthful, that's not being very um, honest with you, okay? I feel like someone could be hiding something as well here, okay? This is for a new person, so just be aware of that. With the Ace of Cups here in reverse, though, I feel that you're being seen, that you're ready to um, put yourself out there. You're ready to be an emotional commitment, okay? What's coming towards you? We have Four of Coins in reverse. So this is what I mean by... Um, just be a little cautious, okay? Um, I, I, what I want to say is that I do... What? Okay. Because what I keep hearing is that someone could be, like, very obsessed with you. So that's for a few of you. Just be very cautious of that, okay? Now, with the four of coins here, what's coming towards you? I feel like this is the energy of letting go. Okay, I feel like um, you might be letting go of someone, someone might be letting go of you, but this is the energy of letting go. Someone's going to let go here, okay? But the Four of Coins can also talk about someone being um, very possessive, and the only reason I was concerned is because I do see the Five of Swords here, and I don't feel that someone could be forthright with you. Spirit, tell me about Four of Coins in reverse. Why is this here? Three of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you guys are going to focus on your friends. You're going to focus on your happiness. So I feel like you guys are letting go of the past. You're finding out who you are again. You're putting yourself out there. You're having a great time. You're being happy and partying maybe. Spirit, tell me about Three of Cups. Why is this here? Tell me about Three of Cups, please. Why is this here? Nothing's coming out. This is your energy, the devil. If you guys are partying, just be careful. Watch your limits here. Um, because some people that you guys are dealing with, I don't know if this is you or the person that you're connecting with. Um, there's an addiction here. Okay, I feel like someone might be using drugs or drinking heavily. So just be aware of that. Just be cautious of that. 
Um, a lot of you might be falling into temptation um, as well. But I feel like right now, most of all, you guys are letting go of something that's toxic. Okay. And I feel like you're going to try to focus on happiness, on people that matter the most, people that make you feel happy. Okay. Mutual energy between you and your person is 10 of cups. So this is like inner happiness. This is fulfillment. This is dreams coming true. So I feel that like there's someone who really cares about you. And I feel that like you care about this person as well. It's just in this deck, it's kind of dark. Okay. And I, the candles are lit and it doesn't seem like a happy card really when it should. So I don't feel that you guys are in a happy place at this point in time, which is kind of sad because mutually you guys are both like connecting with one another. Um, you know, as far as feelings go, you guys have feelings for one another. You guys both make each other happy. It just feel that I, I feel someone's letting go here and there's not a beginning here. Spirit, tell me about 10 of cups. Why is this here? Ten of Cups. Yeah. I feel like you guys both want to nurture this. You both want to fix this. I feel like both of you feel that you are each other's wish fulfillment or wish come true. And like both of you want to grow together. You want, you know, you want the full package, but... Something's not right here. Now, in retrospect of this card here, there could have been lies or deception in the past. And how you're being seen, though, is that this person wants to renew the situation with you. They're aware that you make them happy and this is no longer valid. Okay, the five of swords is no longer valid. But someone's letting go. And how this person feels about you is the sun in reverse. So I feel like this person's like sad or um, in a sense missing you or this person's not feeling you. Like I feel like there's like a sadness here. Okay. They're feeling sad about you. This is also Leo energy. So wait, tell me about the sun. Why is this here? But this person's trying to persevere with the seven of wands here. This person is trying to maintain and control. They're not giving up. Spirit, tell me about seven of wands. Why is this here? This person could be working on other things. Yeah. I feel like this person still has emotion for you. But I feel that both of you have let go or one of you has let go. Okay. And one of you is focusing on other other things but this person would like to give you an apology or to receive an apology or they would like to hear from you okay i feel like they're trying to do the best that they can do but you know i feel like they feel sadness here and mutually i see that both of you like are connecting you know emotionally wise you guys feel good about each other advice for you is ten of swords in reverse so I feel like things have gotten, you know, there may have been an ending here. Things have gotten pretty painful. You might have felt betrayed. You might have felt stabbed, stabbed in the back. But I feel like there's nowhere else to go other than up from here. I feel like you need to... Queen of Cups in reverse. This is martyr, uh, like a martyr. This is someone who's insecure and someone who's dependent. So what I'm... What the advice from spirit is, is you guys should not sacrifice your happiness. You're, you're sacrificing your happiness. You're being insecure. You're not going after what you want to go after. And I feel like it's time to maybe go after what you want. You know, if you want to go after new love, do it. If there's someone you want to be with, go after them. You don't have to put your happiness on a back burner. Make sure that you're number one in your life. Okay. Live your best life as much as possible do what you want to do that makes you happy it says rest and relaxation is essential we all have a fundamental need to take breaks so some of you might just be going too hard i see that you're focused on work um you know you might be living recklessly 
Some of you might be partying too hard. Watch your partying, please. Watch your partying. You just might need to rest and um, rest so that you can go you know, further in life, okay? So Taurus, I'm going to leave it there. I will catch you on your next video. Take care.